Hi friends. It is no longer the pin show for me, though it's Sunday and there are still many people at the pin show. I decided I was done. Um, I got all the stuff that I thought I wanted to get and here it is. So here's my little badge thingy that it took a real long time to get. Um, and let's go. So the, I went Friday and Saturday. Friday I had a horrible migraine, which kind of put a damper on things, but did not, you know, it didn't curtail me from doing stuff. Let's see, do I go in any order? No, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out and we'll talk about it as we go. My largest number of things I got in terms of quantity was ink. And it's weird, you have this sort of feeling afterwards like it's a pen show, I should have probably got more pens. But it's fine. I got what I wanted and I didn't need to force myself to get something else. So, should we separate this by day? Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Mostly. Mostly. Okay. Day one. Day two. Let's decide. Get out. I can't get it out of the shot. Well, I probably could, but I won't. Right on. So... Let's see, I had my list of like, go try and do this. And the number one thing was try and get an appointment with Gina Salarino, but um, the line was so incredibly long that I knew that wasn't gonna happen. So I got to, I went over to their booth and I asked, hey, what's the best way to get one of your, um, journaler nibs and they told me that um the best way is to uh, they have them for sale right there mm, is that right i hope that's all right and so i bought one <laughs> look at this cute box it says gina on it so i bought one of the journaler nibs which is very exciting because that's the grind I wanted that's the work I wanted done by them and then I got it without having to like hang around and have it ground do I have a splinter or something uh, I'm getting right nope. so that was I don't know if that was my first purchase I think this was my first purchase but is that true? Who knows? I think so, because when I went by, they were talking to people and I didn't want to be rude and interrupt. Then, I usually try and make a loop around before I buy anything, but I went to the Carolina Pen Company booth and I saw this and I had to have it. I picked it up in the colors spoke to me. Simona saw it and she said, that is such a you pen. That's a you and a pen. And I just thought, yep. So the first one I picked up actually had a different section, if I remember right. I didn't like the section as much, but there was this one. So I got this. And it was funny to like get a pen so early on. Somebody was like, you already got a pen? <laughs> yes. 
You, you might ask the name of this blank. I don't know. I didn't ask. I just bought it, which is like, <laughs> whoops. So I might see if I can find out. If you know the name of this blank, let me know. And this, you get a pin sleeve. And since I have one of the other pin sleeves, it says Carolina Pin Company. I got this one, which I think is maybe designed by one of his daughters. Love it. And then, um, we won't worry about order. I did go to Rickshaw, but we'll kind of get to them last because I have stuff inside stuff. Oh, and here's Gina's card. I went to Rickshaw and I got some stickers. San Fran pin show. I don't love that, but it, how long would it be if it was San Francisco pin show? Really long. And I got the pin show single pin sleeve. These aren't my colors, but I wanted a, a single pin sleeve for the show. And this they unveiled it it's a new product I believe called the Fillmore and um of course I got the blue the blue was like yes and I gotta be honest I, I bought the wrong one but I'm keeping it and somebody was like you should trade and I thought no nah, it's fine so this has they have one that's like three pin loops three pin single pins and then just like a pouchy thing over here it's got two bigger things and then a pouch and um that's the one I meant to get, but this is three pins and three pins. I won't be putting six pins in this. I will be putting three pins in this, assuming I use it. But it was, so, look at it, it's blue and gray, and I love it. Um, folks, they're really nice. So I got this, a little more. And then I got this. For Manda, ink splat Manda B. She couldn't be there. So I got this and inside, I'm not gonna show you some other goodies for her. But I, I wanted to get her a thing that was also for the pen show. And if she doesn't like it, she can give it away. And I'm cool with that. But I, you know, wanted to, her to have the option. Right. And then I got this. This is my most expensive purchase of the show. Also one of the smallest. So this is the Monarch nib from Shown Designs. I just went with the silver because it's the least expensive. I got the clear feed because, uh, or amber feed, because why not? I don't have many feeds that aren't black and I thought that would be fun. Please don't pay much attention to my manicure right now. It's like all worn off after yesterday. So exciting. And I think I know where this is going, but maybe not. And it includes this pin cleaner so it's this little loopity part. This goes onto the feed and you can like put water, boop. And what's funny is I was like, I I think I need one for Yovo and he said, well, good news. You get one free with the Monarch and it works on Yovo. So I only got this because actually, sure I have pins that are other nibs types, but I don't care. Most of them I have are Yovo. And also the big difference is that I think Bach is thinner than this. And so it'll still work. I'll just have to hold it there. It would be the reverse wouldn't be true. You can't get the smaller one and use it on bigger pins. So there's that. And then actually one of the first booths I went to was, I, I remember now, Kiwi inks. They weren't even done setting up yet. But I said, do you have a pen show ink? And they do. And this is the same pattern that they had last year. So I got it. I think it's a burgundy color. I didn't care. <laughs> I just had to get the ink. 
especially because I like them as a brand and they're really nice people and they were gushing over because I was wearing like I have a, a like a, a little pack that I wear like crossbody it's meant to be around the waist but whatever that work gave me and they were like oh my gosh do you work for them I said well not anymore blah 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 but anyway but I got their pin show ink so we're gonna do some swatching probably part of this video we'll see I'm already rambling that's all right. That's me. If you expect it otherwise, I'm not sure what to tell you. And I went to the Van Ness booth and got this one. It's their Van Ness special with Colorverse. Think pink. Because I, you know, why not? I have been waffling on it. And um, so it was nice because it's now like pin show memory also in one of the booths that I was most excited to go to. Oh, while I was at, um, well, while I was getting a different thing, I was at the um, Enigma stationery booth and I got a thing for my partner. I'm not bringing it in, I gave it to him already. And it was one of those little like mystery boxes that had a little figurine of um, Anya from Spy X Family. Um, it's so cute. So I gave that to him already. And I also got him something at the next booth I'm going to talk about, which was Inca Pet. So I got myself a second holder. And this is, um, I was like, what do you call that color? And they said something. And I'm like, it's like spilled gasoline. <laughs> so amazing. And actually, one of the angles reminds me, this one maybe, of my peacock bloom. And the other one here is so much like my nail polish. I think it was like probably the same pigment. Who knows? But it's a little doggy. And love it. And while at this booth, I also got, they have little pin rests. And I got the one that was um, a little black kitty for my partner. Because he likes cats. And he likes the color black. So there we have it. Um... And I think that's all the things from day one. So sort of restrained. And I actually thought I was done. Foolish girl. I knew that I would be coming back Saturday to hang out and do stuff. And I knew I was going to try and get the pin show ink. If you saw my video, there was some frustration about that. Um, so that was a done deal. But I didn't think I'd be getting much else. <laughs> well... I went back to Yamamoto paper first thing on Saturday and I decided to get the paper that they did have rather than just get nothing. And I tried out actually. So there are a couple papers that I did not plan on getting that when I tested the pens, they, they seemed interesting. So these are all packs of 50. I spent the last of my cash here and I actually had a, a, a fifth pack of paper, but I didn't have the cash and blah, blah, blah. There were reasons why I wanted cash. So this one is their Slight White. It's a thicker paper, 81.4 GSM. So there's that. This is like along the thickness of uh, Cosmo Air Light, I believe. Then we have Bank Paper. This is thin, 48.2. Then we have Yamamoto Bank Paper. Takasago Premium. This is maybe the thickest, 87.9. And then the last one, Sheep Clouds Bond, 70. The, the fifth pa pack that I didn't get was a washi um, paper. And I'm not regretting not getting it. I'm not like, oh, it's the one that got away. It's fine. It's fine. Um... Some of you may know this. Rickshaw has, uh, when you go to the pen shop, they have a, a bowl of fortune cookies at the front. And inside is like, uh, you get a th free this from Rickshaw. I don't know if there's ever anything that's not a free sticker. I went, I got one Friday, free sticker. Saturday, free sticker. That's all I've ever experienced. So I went back to Rickshaw and got this free sticker. What? amazing 
I don't think it's this is a 2024 special. I think this is an older one, but still cool. <clears throat> and I got one of these for me. <laughs> so this has the, the fleecy, fuzzy stuff inside. Which is not super practical, but if I wanted to get one that had, they had some that have like that um, Cordura on the inside. Um, Y'all, I could easily make this. Like for real, I could easily make this myself. But it's a nice thing to, to it's a nice souvenir. However, I don't wanna sew with this material. So if I want one out of that other like Cordura type, that's the easier one for me to make. And maybe I will, especially because like this, I can see how it's constructed. And their products are worth the price. I'm not trying to say that. It's just that like if I'm getting one of two things, I'm going to get the one that I cannot make. I love the little Golden Gate Bridge with fountain pen nibs. So I got this. Day two. And then I was just kind of walking around and I decided to do a bit more browsing. Um, I think, yeah, so there's, there's booths I got stuff that these are actually probably from day one, but I, this is from, it says Kino Kania. There's a little QR code there. Um, I got a bookmark from them as well when I bought a thing. That was actually day one. And then, oh, here, Yamamoto Paper gave me um, uh, their card so I could order more paper. And then I was looking around at all the small pen makers and, and just nothing was really grabbing me. But there were some, uh, and what I mean is there were things that were like almost right but not perfect. And so I thought, I'm going to, like check out their other offerings. So there was um, Studio Aga Khan, Agaka Khan. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce, but some really interesting things there. Really beautiful. Then there was. Um, indelible pens you want to check them out really lovely things there and I asked for Christ my stickers my card there was Rob's pen works and he had some really cool stuff um, really unusual like that I I was like Oh man, these are great. I'm gonna have to check them out again. Again, this is true for all of these. So they had stuff that I liked that if it had been slightly different, you know. Um, and now I'm struggling to remember who was who. But I think he had ones that where the resin looked like wood almost to me, like palm wood. And it had a bunch of brass work and the metal was gorgeous on it, but I'm allergic. And so I thought, I don't want that, especially something that you're touching all the time with stuff that's brass. I can like, first off, smell it. Absolutely. But it's like, I taste it when I, so I cannot have something that's got a lot of brass. I had to get rid of some knitting needles that were like that. Um, but most people do not have that problem. So I, I, I'd recommend checking out indelible pens. And now I'm, I'm struggling to remember what I saw and loved it. Studio Agaka Khan, but Again, really, really stunning and more unusual stuff. And then in the same room, I had originally walked by because these pins are weird. And then I thought, well, unusual might be the kinder way to put it. But then I thought, you know what, Maria, but that's your jam. So I went to Mayfair pins. Um and first off, the guy there was super nice, really sweet, but I got a pen. First off, look at this. It comes in like this thing, this bottle that I've seen like stuff like bath salts come in. And the color is what drew me in. I 
look at it. It's such a Maria color, an aqua with sparkles, and then this section with like this lovely aqua teal and a and a magenta. Gorgeous. And like, look, so I guess somebody told him it kind of looked like a tulip. And so he really leaned into that. He had some where the bigger, the cap and section were even bigger and more tulip-like. And the colors really supported that visual as well. And at first I'm like, I don't know about it, man. That's weird. But take the cap off. And it's not that funky looking without the cap, but more importantly, it's very comfortable. Your hand does not want to like slip off of this. You're not going to end up on the threads. It's really nice. And the cap, it doesn't post securely, but it posts all right on there. Does it actually post on the back of the pin? No, but it will stand there. You know what? I bet this would be doesn't matter. So I really, yeah, in the end, I got this. It spoke to me for the fact that it's unusual. Because one of the reasons I like the um, Monarch nib is that it's just not what you expect from a nib. There hasn't been that much innovation in nibs. And something I appreciate about this is that it's very unusual. So many of our um, hand turned fountain pens are basically straight sticks of, of resin and there's nothing wrong with that and I love them but y'all this is not a straight stick of resin this is funky um, the other person who was there who I didn't I didn't wind up getting a pen from I liked it but like it was kind of like the models I liked weren't in the materials I preferred and they were gorgeous just not my colors right Sean Newton of Newton Pins was there and he is lovely. He was really nice to talk to. He was just wonderful. Um, his wait list for customs is incredibly long, but he did tell me that if I just want like one of the, like if I just want one of his pins in a specific material, the wait list might not actually be that long because he'll just make them when he's making a batch. And I was like, oh, that's cool actually. That might be a thing I do. And then I got some stickers from friends but this was walking around and I passed it on the first day but I could not pass up the Vinta and um Enigma stationery custom ink because y'all it's a light aqua color which is my jam and I went to drum goals and got I had also passed this by on day one the Sailor 2022 Pin Show ink. And the reason I really liked this is <laughs> the color. I, I felt kind of like cheating, but I was like, well, I was at a pin show in 2022. I just didn't see this ink and I probably would have got it had I seen it. So I got it. And then I finally do, 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 got the pin show ink. San Francisco Bay color from Colorverse. Love it. I was the second person to complete the um, signature scavenger hunt. And had I not stopped, had I been able to read the directions that said you only need eight, I might have been the first person. And because I was the second person, I got a free bottle of ink. I got this one. Does it say the color? I didn't have my glasses on. It doesn't say. It kind of looks like a blue black, but we'll swatch it and see. Then at lunch, I walked with, Jonna of uh, with her here's her shop Jonna Leon on on uh, YouTube and probably elsewhere but this is her shop Fox Club and Fennel and I haven't even looked at these yet freebies I think that's the cutest um she's such a lovely person and I really enjoyed our time together chatting about all manner of things yeah so she's a wonderful artist so she's got some five mil bio labels she's got these fountain pen nib stickers look a special one from the sf pen show so i'm definitely this is i love this not waterproof i love them so much she's she's really phenomenal you should check her out both her youtube and her store 
And then um, Snarky Wordsworth made some emojigiri. So they're like in onigiri, which is rice balls, and these have emoji faces on them. They are amazing. She kept apologizing for them not being like cut out yet, but it's like, what? That's cool. You can like cut them out yourself and put more than one together if you want. Love it. And at lunch, Donna and I walked over to In N Out, and on our way back, we ran into a total celebrity. <laughs> We saw Stephanie from JetPins. I was like, wait, is that Stephanie from JetPins? And Yana says, that is Stephanie from JetPins. And so I decided to go way over the top. And I'm like, oh my God, yelling. Oh my God, you're Stephanie from JetPins. You're famous. You're famous. Because I've had people do that to me. And it's so silly. And But your friends never let you live it down. And she had someone with her. And I'm like, oh man, I hope he helps her remember this. Anyway, she gave me a jet dose oh sticker. Oh my god, is that Maria from YouTube? Oh my god. Hello. Hello, Maria. Hi. Like that, friends, like that. She gave me this jet dough um, elf sticker, which is adorable. So that's all the stuff I got. Pretty cool. It's a pile of things but also it's like less than it could have been which is pretty I feel good about that too I'm not bringing the paper and it's over here but you know I got it so that's all the stuff I think I'll do a separate video doing the swatching of the inks because this is already kind of long um plus then maybe some of you want to see this and not the ink swatching so look for that it'll be up soon um and that was that. If you came and said hi to me, thank you so much. I really enjoyed meeting you. I'm not Again, I'm not going to call out anybody by name because I'll forget people. But everyone was super lovely and I wish I could hang out with them all the time. But that's how it goes. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.